Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, at what, we're asked what numbers is the following function g, this piecewise function right here, differentiable. So we notice that we have three polynomials here. And that means on their domains, not including the endpoints, they're going to be differentiable. All right? So for x is less than 0, 0 is less than x is less than 2, and x is greater than 2, this is all going to be differentiable. The only things we have to check are x equals 0 and x equals 2, because that's where these functions meet. So first we have to find whether it's continuous or not. So for x equals 0, we have to see f of 0, the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of f, and limit as x approaches 0 from the right of f. f of 0 is going to be using, since we have less than or equal there, 2x, so 2 times 0, is 0. This is the limit as x goes to 0 of when you're going from the left, so less than 0 would be 2x. We can plug in 0, so we get 2 times 0 equals 0. And going from the right, we get the limit as x goes to 0 from here, since x is greater than 0. 2x minus x squared equals 2 times 0, minus 0 squared equals 0, minus 0 equals 0. So it's continuous at x equals 0. Now we have to check x equals 2 f of 2, the limit as x approaches 2 from the left, and the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. f of 2, looking where the equal sign is, is 2 minus x is minus 2 equals 0. Approaching from the left, x is less than 2, so 2, the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x minus x squared, plugging in 2, you get 2 times 2 minus 2 squared equals 4, minus 4 is 0. And then here we have limit as x goes to 2 from the right, so 2 minus x should be 2 minus 2 equals 0. So we found that it's continuous on all real numbers, which is a prerequisite for it being differentiable. And now, if we find the derivative, which is for these three, getting rid of this constant since it's going to be a plus 0 on the end, which you can ignore, for these three linear terms, you just take the um, coefficient. So 2x should be 2, 2x should be 2, negative x should be negative 1. And just not forgetting about this um, x squared term here, we subtract it. And then you bring down the exponent times x to the same power at minus 1, which would be 2 minus 1, which is x to the first power, which is just x. So that's all set there. If x is 0 is less than x is less than 2, and then if x is greater than or equal to 2. So, again, we know when x is less than 0, this range, this range. We just have to check when x is 0 and x is 2. So when you're approaching from the right, for x equals 0, the derivative equals 2 minus 2 times 0 equals 2 minus 0 equals 2. And from the left of x equals 0, we have g prime of 0 equals just 2. So the right and the left are equal. That means that it is differentiable. And for x equals 2, checking a similar thing, we get g prime of 0 from the right is just negative 1. And g prime of 0 from the left, going from here, x is less than 2. It's 2 minus 2 times x is 2 times 2. 2 minus 2 times 2 is 4, it's minus 2. Negative 1 is not equal to negative 2, therefore it is not differentiable at negative at x equals 2. Not differentiable at x equals 2, differentiable on all real numbers other than that. So it is differentiable from negative 8, or sorry, negative 8, negative infinity to 2, union 2, infinity. That is your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.